Hello everybody, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Damaris Fozal Powell and if today happens to be your first time stopping by, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. On today's episode of Wisdom Wednesday, as you all can see, I have my beautiful veil on. This is the veil that I use for my surprise bridal shower. And guess what time it is here? This is August. That tells you that my husband and I have been married for almost a year. August 22nd will make us one year, which is why we decided to dedicate Wisdom Wednesday for this month to talk about some of the things that we did that gave us our dream wedding. Some of the things that we did that caused us to have one of the best weddings of the year, last year. Um, I am telling you, our wedding was epic. So many testimonies, amazing, amazing testimonies. In, even as of right now, they are still coming. So we, would, we will be talking about how I picked my wedding, my bridal team. And I know that this video may not be for everybody because, of course, some of our viewers are already married. But if you know someone who is married or who plans on getting married, please do well to share this video with them. So this video is more for our brides-to-be and anyone who long to be married someday. So... Here are some of the things that I did that got me to pick in my bridal team the way I did. Um, I'll be talking about women. My husband, I believe he will talk about how he picked his groom, groomsmen. Yeah, let's get into the video. I'll be sharing with you how I picked my bridesmaid. Well, to start, um, one thing that we did that I believe was the sole reason why our wedding came out of the way it came is the fact that God was the beginning and the end of everything. We started everything with prayers and we ended everything with prayers, right? So before we even ventured into picking our bridesmaids, our bridal team party, I we prayed to God to help us. Let me tell you, right? The, the bridesmaids you pick for your wedding will determine how happy you will be on that day. To be sincere, yes, I know you are going to meet your husband, you are going to meet your, your spouse at the altar, but if you pick wrong girls, the wrong choices of mates, it is going to be very difficult for you to smile. Because a lot of bridesmaids don't even know their responsibilities. A lot of bridesmaids don't even know why you pick them to stand for you. And this is the meaning. What does bridesmaid even mean, right? Bridesmaid means just remove bride and then mate. Who is a mate? Mate is someone who helps. Mate is someone who steps up to, 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 to help. It's like a helping hand to you. So bridesmaids, on a wedding, your responsibility is to help the bride uh, put things together, make sure that she is happy, make sure that things are going well, that she don't get to talk too much. But what I've noticed is a lot of people get to use that day as their own day to showcase their shape showcase their dancing styles and all that but that is not actually your wedding it is not that is not what it is for a bridesmaid you're supposed as a bridesmaid you are supposed to help the brides i've seen brides literally cry because bridesmaids don't just care Bridesmaids are all focusing on taking their pictures, their videos, and showing up, showing out that they forget the bride. So, how did I pick my bridesmaid? I know sometimes it can be very challenging picking bridesmaids, especially if you are someone who have a lot of friends like I do or like I did. I still have a lot of friends, but how did I pick my bridesmaid? Um, one of the things, like I said, we prayed about it, and after praying, we reach out, right? We reach out to those we knew were best suited 
for that position because not everybody amongst your friends right not every body qualifies to be a bridesmaid i wouldn't say qualifies to be a bridesmaid but not everybody can be a bridesmaid you have to know your friends you have to know what they are able yeah they are, they are capable of doing like me for example i have this friend i reach out to her i said hey can you be my bridesmaid right she said the marriage you know very well that i wouldn't do well you know where i fit best and i that was really true to be sincere if this lady had stood as my bridesmaid so many things that went well wouldn't have went well right because first of all she would be very stressed because she is that kind of a coordinator she has that kind of coordinator spirit uh, organization spirit she has a kind of she, she likes to put two people together so if she was acting as a bridesmaid instead of a coordinator it would be difficult for her to maneuver to over two responsibilities so when i reached out to her she said the marriage you know i am good at this i'm good at that i'm good at this i'm good at that and i totally understood it right and thank god is not forced it and right let me tell you right if you reach out to someone to be your bridesmaid and the person says no please do not force it okay you have to understand with people if someone says oh i am not very sure if i will be available around that time or i'm not sure if this will happen i'm not sure please do not force it okay take people's words for what they say don't try to beg them or don't try to convince them or say okay if you think later that you can make it can you call me no don't do that because disappointments will come and you don't want to even be the cause of that disappointment if someone tells you that they will not be able to make it don't force it because in the end they will disappoint you and that wouldn't be good that said that friend of mine said she couldn't be my bridesmaid, but she ended up doing so much more. And I am really glad that we went that route. Next thing that I did was I looked among my friends and I did not just pick people because we've been friends for long, but I picked people because of the quality of friendship that we have had right what do i mean by that there are some people that you've been friends with for long but who have not really impacted your life or contributed to your life in a more meaningful way there are some people that have been friends with for 10 years but there are some that have been friends with for five years but those that have been five friends with for just five years have really added value to my life so you want to know that and what do i even mean by adding value to my life there are some people who are always there it's like in the rainy season they are there in summer they are there in winter they are there in spring they are there they are always there right in difficult times in celebration times they are there those are some of the people that i considered when i was picking my price price mates i did not just pick people who came in when my life was all figured out and things were just all sweet and honey no i pick people who have been with me for in those even in those challenging moments right another thing that we did was of course i pick people that i've been friends with for a while let's say for example when my sister attempt right attempt is the very first friend that i got when i came to america she we met two weeks after i came to america and so today we are covenant sisters we are we are prayer sisters we are bible study sisters we do so much together and god has just been so awesome and she couldn't i couldn't have even thought twice right um putting her as my bridesmaid the next person was bernadette Bernadette and I have been friends for a while and I think like since 2016 when I started nursing school we got to live together we've been through so much but still we stood we, we stood tall and I felt like she was someone that I could have in my in my in my wedding not just as a guest but to actually participate in my wedding another person was vanessa i met vanessa and vanessa has been a sister always there met pastor princess and she has just been 
an amazing powerful woman of god her advice her support always showing up for me so there are just so many things that we considered i met pinky even though at the time pinky and i we had not even been friends for, for for long but i felt like my spirit connected with her and i felt like if i make her my bridesmaid she would really be a good help to me and of course my little sister who just got married over the weekend destiny destiny and i we grew up in the village we grew up together doing take so many things together and she was definitely going to be my bridesmaid um another person was precious and this is something that my husband and i agreed right um my husband from my brother team side i had to pick my husband's niece uh cousin uh, to stand for my wedding uh just to have that family ju just to have that kind of um togetherness like we didn't just want uh his people to be his people my people to be my people but wanted that to mix that which is why my uh, my brother also stood as his groom one of his groomsmen it was really an amazing an amazing opportunity to get to work with all of them i mean like i have never seen a brighter team as the one i had god really blessed me and for the first time in a while like so many people were amazed that a bride will make it to church before church service even starts because from the history you see a lot of brides goes to, goes to go to church late because they had so much to take care of and of course some go late because their bridesmaids were not really co co collaborating their bridesmaids were not really uh, doing stuff together and to finalize it all my cousin who was my maid of honor uh, brianna i love you so much and you were just incredibly amazing she was just everything like she i didn't i don't i mean like i cannot even imagine like this lady this girl this sister this friend she was all over the place making sure that i was good and happy and to some my bridal party and everybody involved up i will end it with carista who happened to be the coordinator also as one of our organizers and also as our mc our wedding mc carista is the reason why so many things went the way they went as regards to our bridal party hangout and all that so it was just a wonderful moment so i say all of this to say the people that you pick to stand for you will determine how happy you will be to be sincere because some brides do cry just seeing their bridesmaids to go all over the place doing things their own way without really caring whether they are happy or not so bride to be before you pick your bridal team, make sure you pray. Make sure you don't go for people that you've been in a relationship or you've been friends with for years. But go with someone who, even though you've not been friends with for so many years, but someone whom you have had a good time with in difficult, in bad times, in good times, and the person is always there, right? Um, also make sure that you yeah you pray about it so yeah this is all i have for you today as far as picking my bridesmaid is concerned um we will be posting another video on this weekend i think maybe our friday or saturday and that one would just be like a wedding video so make sure you check that out we're going to be posting a lot in this month so please do follow us on instagram as journey with the powers and also subscribe to our youtube channel as journey with the powers god bless you thank you for watching this video have a wonderful day Bye bye